What's happening, guys? Hope everybody's having a good week this week. Um, going to start getting into our uh, composite lipped square bills, and we're going to go ahead and fire it off with the uh, Spro Fat Little John. They call it the Spro Fat Little John on their website, but it's, it's the Fat John. It's the Fat John 60. You can see we got two different colors here like we normally do. Uh, got, uh, got to fish with it a lot this week and got a lot of feedback for you. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. So the Spro John Cruise Fat John 60. We only have one size as of right now. I don't, it wouldn't surprise me at all if, we got, if we're going to see another, another size. This is the bigger size as far as square bowl crankbaits are concerned. And uh, this is a square bill. This is Spro's version of a, of a square bill crankbait, even though the bill isn't that traditional squared lip style like like this Jack Alaska. Um, this has a little bit more of a of a round bill to it. So, but it's still their version of the of the square bill crankbait. And uh, as you know, it's endorsed by John Cruz. And this, like I was getting ready to say, this is that bigger size crankbait. This would be like your equivalent to the to the Stripe King KVD 2.5. So uh, one size, it has a length of 2.35 inches, kind of a, an obscure length, but it's 2.35 inches, has a length of 5 eighths of an ounce and a diving depth of one to three feet. And they feature a uh, Gamakatsu hook standard on here. You can see there, they're fairly large for this bait. And one thing that um, my dad had just got this crankbait as well, and he was fishing with it. And one thing that we both noticed is that, I don't know if it's just because of the large bait or the position of the bill, but um, you're going to find out that from time to time, this, uh, this front hook likes to come over the bill and get hung up sometimes. So just because, I mean, that shank is, is fairly large. Uh, you could probably change these out for short shank treble hooks because uh, I don't think that these are short shank treble hooks. They don't look like it. But uh, you could probably trade those out for some short shank treble, treble hooks. But it only happens from time to time. And, and these are really good hooks to begin with, so I won't be trading them out. I'll just deal with the fact that from time to time when I cast it out there, this thing is going to get hung up on that front bill. So let me go ahead and... Uh, Give you guys a measurement since I forget to do this a lot. Uh, my measurement from the front ring to the back ring is just a, a shade under two and a half inches. And uh, if we don't use the rings at all, it's like two and three eighths. Can you see that? Two and a little under two and three eighths of an inch, and then if you uh, use the bill and go all the way to the ring, it's two and three quarters of an inch. This is a fairly large crankbait, like I was saying, you guys. A um, couple different features on here. You notice it's got the Spro mean, the mean mug eyes. Um, they've got that just furrowed brow, kind of aggressive look. That's the trademark of a Spro crankbait. Uh, they've got the oval split ring on the front, which I really appreciate. Makes tying uh, to the bait very, very quick. You can see on the bottom of this one, it says Spro Fat John 60. And like I said, I'm sure there's going to be a smaller one. It'll probably be like a Fat John 50 or 45 or something if there isn't one already out there. You go to Spro's website, they call it the Spro Fat Little John 60. And they actually say that there is... Uh, it has Spro's tungsten, patented tungsten weight transfer system, so it casts like a bullet. Um, hate to break it to you guys, um, it doesn't have that Spro uh, weight transfer system. It's just got the stationary, looks like well, that same tungsten weight that's in the Little John. But like I said, you go to Spro.com and check out the Spro Fat Little John 60s, which is what they call it, and um, they say it has a transfer system. It does not. Okay, and just to show you, here's a little John in the shallow diver. Okay, that's the weight transfer system that they're referring to. That ball that slides back and forth in that little channel there. This does not have that. So, um, just be aware of what you're buying there. Um, no rattles in this bait. It's a silent bait. Um, has a good aggressive wobble to it. 
um, deflects cover fairly fairly easily, just like you would expect it to. Uh, where the where the bill is positioned, it's positioned more in front of the bait, which is what I like. I don't really like when they're positioned back here. I'm just coming to find that out after fishing with square bills and square bills and square bills. It has it's it's positioned more to the front of the bait, kind of like the Jack Alaska, um, but kind of unlike a kind of like unlike a bomber. Um, model balsa model b but anyway um let's get down to the bill it's got this uh fiber resin composite lip they call it a um a computer chip board computer chip boards are made out of a fire they have it's a fiber resin board and they have a it's fiberglass you guys so it's got a fiberglass lip on it the reason for this fiberglass lip is so uh it'll hold up a little bit better than the than the normal um plastic lips that you're going to find on normal square bill crankbaits. Uh, this fiber board here seems to hold up a little bit better because when you're, when you're, when you're banging into structure, um, they get chipped and all, they get cracked, all sorts of things happen. So this is supposed to hold up a little bit better. So there's that, that fiber board lip there. If we can get a close up look at it. So, so there that is, um, but very nice crankbait, really, really love fishing with it, enjoyed fishing with it. I couldn't put it down, caught a few fish on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the colors here. The first color I'm going to show you is called Citrus Shad. Citrus Shad is kind of like in the, like a Lucky Craft version, um, how, uh, MS American Shad has the glued on scales. Well, this is kind of the same idea. It's got like a, a glued on holographic scale pattern on the side really cool and then it's just a normal citrus shad pattern with that blue fading into a scaled green on the on the top corner Whoop. come on now there we go and then you've got that blue shad dot fading into a very bright chartreuse belly and an orange throat so there's citrus shad Next color I'm going to show you is clear chartreuse. It's kind of like um, it's it's just a chartreuse shad. It's a it's a, or like a ghost chartreuse shad. If you're familiar with like Lucky Craft stuff, uh, it's just got that uh, pearl back. That's kind of blue, um, light brownish on the back. So there's the light brown, and then there's that blue that I'm talking about, and then fading into that kind of a clear transparent side with that shad dot right there behind the gill and uh, or the ear and then you have the uh, chartreuse line going down the side and the same pearl belly you see it says bro fat john right there on the right there on the bottom so here is clear chartreuse Okay, so um, as you guys remember, I purchased some of the the Little Johns, the Spro Little Johns, to kind of show you a comparison. Because I know when I was uh, in the market for the Fat John, I really was looking at the pictures, and um, other than the angle of the lip, um, I wasn't seeing a big difference just in the pictures alone. So let's here's the side by side view. It's sitting right on top of it, just so you have a unskewed view of what that bait looks like. The Fat John is much bigger. Here's what they look like from the bottom. The Fat John right here is a lot fatter. This one is very narrow, has a, um, a tighter wiggle to it. Uh, they both have that fiber board. This is the Little John, but this is the shallow diving Little John. Not all the Little Johns have, have that, uh, that composite lip. I'll do a review on the Little John when I get the bigger ones so I can show you guys all the Little Johns. Um, but this is the Fat John and we're doing the Fat John today. So you can see how much fatter it is. It's just a bigger bulkier crankbait. The the lip is pointed down a little bit more to help it deflect off cover a little bit more as opposed to um, straight out like this one. This one's almost completely straight out. So and then this one also has the uh, weight transfer system as this one does not. 
contrary to what it actually says on their website. So Spro Fat John or Fat Little John as they call it on their website. Great little crankbait. I love fishing with it. Um, make sure you guys check these bad boys out. And uh, as a side note, I've been, I know I'm trying to get uh, some fishing videos out there for you guys. Um, people have been requesting them. I don't have a camera to, to do it. I mean, my, my camera that I use here is not a camera that I'm going to mount on top of my head and go fishing with. So that's why I haven't put out any fishing videos. I've been looking at the GoPros. And fortunately enough for me, my my buddy, uh, Mr. Security Contractor, he um, he let me his, his GoPro Hero 2 this week because I've been looking at those. Um, so I went out and did a little bit of fishing. Got a couple clips of some, of some fish. And so I want you guys to check that out. I'm going to go ahead and post it on the end of this video. So check that out. Tell me what you think of... of that style of video um because i think it's going to work out pretty good for what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try to get that camera if you guys if you guys think it uh, it looks good i'm going to go and try to get that camera here in like another week or two and then i'm going to start putting out fishing videos probably every week supplementing my my weekly lure review so i'm going to try to start putting out two videos every week a lure review video and then a fishing video every week but I have to get the camera first so let me know what you guys think about the camera go ahead and like the video down here if you like the camera or if you like the review I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel that's great it's awesome it makes me want to keep going with it I mean you guys the fact that you guys watch it is the only reason why I'm still doing this because um, uh, I really like being able to help people out with showing people lures and stuff I mean stuff like this has always been annoying to me like when you get a crankbait at your house or a bait at your house and it's just not what you expected it to be you know so like um, like this to me like I, I use these two baits as an example because they look so similar in the pictures and I'm sure most of you can kind of figure it out from the pictures the differences but once you hold them in your hand and you see an up close look at them you really do notice some big differences. So that's the reason why I do these reviews and I really appreciate you guys watching them. So uh, sorry for the long video. This is probably going to be like a 16 minute video, but that's the way it's going to be because we're going to post that video right here at the end. Thanks for watching and make sure you guys like it if you liked it. Thanks. There's one. Nice. 
Oh, did you see that? You didn't see the strike? Around and stuff and tear things apart and it'll pick stuff up. There's one. Yeah. Shit, son. <laughs> Trying to get the picture for the camera. Flatten out, dude. <laughs> Right there on the Spro Fat John 60, first cast. He hit it like a ton of bricks too. Yeah, I mean, my rod just went bam.